Okay, so here we are. We are in. Um, we are creeping on Amy's Facebook page right now. Uh, I, I just wanted to point out a couple of things. We're going to talk about uh, Facebook ads in this video. So, building your audience through Facebook ads is what I'm going to focus on here. So uh, you can see, a lot of people wouldn't see this in their in their Facebook when they. Um, log in because they wouldn't have any ads running but when you have ads running you can see here Facebook will give you this tally on the side where you can see uh, your total ads running your total campaigns and uh, the total page likes for the day so Amy's got 38 page likes for today so far it's only guys as you can see it's about 12 o'clock p.m. Uh, you can also click on it and see monthly she's got about 1200 page likes this month We've run eight different ads, and um, uh, it's again it's garnered twelve about twelve hundred page likes so far this month. So uh, to get to we're gonna we're just, there's there's different ways to do this, but I want to start really simply. Uh, once you get going with Facebook ads, you can get into the what's called the power editor. But I just wanted to show you really quickly um, the ads manager that's where you're gonna manage all of your Facebook ads uh, from this one location okay so we like to keep it real so we're gonna show you what's worked for us what hasn't worked for us what our goal we're gonna talk about what our goals are we're gonna talk about how much money we've spent on this you don't have to spend as much money as we've spent on this okay we you you know you don't have to I know Bernie Botts has said that she she built her entire page on 10 dollars a day investment um, we've spent different amounts we, you know, I was spending a lot more on this page when when uh, back in October when I really got into it just because I just wanted to get the thing going I, I just I, I, I have a very low attention span so I wanted this I, I'll, I know myself and I know I would lose interest in it if it wasn't working so I wanted to see if it was gonna work with, within the first month or two so I decided to just sink some money into it and get it going so it we did and it got rolling and Amy jumped on board and Amy really decided to learn how the other top coaches were doing it how to make it her own so she did right away and it, it just started working and then since then we sort of dialed back the investment a little bit and even taken some breaks from it uh, for you know a couple of weeks uh, as far as in, uh, as far as running Facebook ads goes but you can do this however you want you can do this uh, a couple bucks a day, five bucks a day, ten bucks a day. It just depends on how quickly you want to get this thing running. Keep in mind, though, on one of the training videos I watched, uh, one of the coaches said, "You not your page is really not going to get rocking and rolling until you get at least a couple of thousand likes on your page." Okay, so if you've got three hundred likes or five hundred likes or whatever, don't get disappointed if you're not getting that same interaction that Amy and Brandy and Amber are getting because. You know, they've got the larger audience. They've they they've invested in that audience, so they're going to get more shares and they're going to get more likes uh, organically. So don't worry about that. Just worry about concentrate on you know what you can folk what you can invest, and we're going to talk about maximizing that investment. Right? That's what we that's what Amy and I are constantly concerned. So you're going to see this is full disclosure. We're going to show you exactly what we've done, and uh, we would be the first to tell you that we've made a ton of mistakes and and you know it's just sort of buying experience is what I say so alright so let me just go into our ads so I want to show you the ads that we're currently running okay oh uh, actually let me go back let me go back to the front page here you can see here daily spend this is what we've spent over the last four or five days uh, I have a budget set. I have two ads running currently. I have a budget of fifteen dollars a day. One ad I have budgeted for ten dollars a day. Another ad I have budgeted for five dollars a day. Um, today we've spent four dollars and nineteen cents. Okay. Um, you can see also the different campaigns we've run over the last uh, couple of months, or tw I think it's twenty-eight days actually. So I've tried different things. Okay. Uh, I've tried different targets. Um, so what you what I'm always looking at here though is cost per like okay so just to give you an example I ran an ad let's click on this Lulu mom ad I ran this ad for like a day or so and just trying to I was targeting women this is the actual ad right here I was targeting women 
who um, ages between 25 and 40 live in North America uh, who have previously liked Lulu Mom Athletica. I was thinking like if you've liked Lulu Mom, that's like yoga pants or whatever. I, I don't know. I think it is. And um, you might you might relate to Amy, right? Yeah, Amy likes yoga pants. That's all she ever wears. So so that ad didn't really work that well um, because let's go back. And you can see here we usually run about the same photo and we usually run uh, the same text for almost every ad that's always worked for us. Let me just show you. It says, ready to take your fitness to the next level. Follow me for fitness tips and motivation. I'm, I'm not any genius, right? Most of this started with me watching that free Brandy Bots video on uh, Practical Social Media University. She showed her ad. I did a screenshot of it. I took it on my phone as I was watching the ad. This is it, okay? So she showed it in the, in the ad. So I'm like, you know, gosh, it's working for her. Why don't I just modify it a little bit and go do something similar, right? Because it's obviously proven to work. She's showing that she's getting nine cent clicks. So why not just do that? So I did that. I would encourage you to modify it, you know, make it your own, do whatever you'd like. But that's what works for us. This is just a simple ad. It just says, you know, ready to take your fitness to the next level. Follow me in, in, in all caps. And um, uh, follow me for fitness tips and motivation. All right, so. So let's go back here. All right, so so these are all the different campaigns we've run over the last month. I had some, generally speaking, all of our campaigns are gonna be targeted at women in North America, uh, so Canada and the United States, because those are the only people that can buy Beachbody products. It's very important to pay attention to that. You don't wanna be marketing to women in the UK or, or wherever that can't buy your products, right? So every ad we do is either uh, uh, United States, Canada, women, because that's Amy's brand. That's just, the, the, that's just who connects to Amy, uh, ages 25 to 40. And I did that, so I've done different age variations, but I did that to sort of narrow down. We're gonna talk about that when I actually create an ad, but to narrow down the amount of people, you always want that to, that number of people let me show you. To be under two million. Let me show you. Let's go back. I'm sorry. I'm sort of skipping around, rambling. That's just what I do, I guess. Um, let's pick on this one here. These these are the ads we're currently running. Okay. So we've got Amy. We're running two ads right now. One Jillian Michaels and one I call Fitness Two. Okay. So of all the ads I've run, I've probably run, I don't know, 25 or 30 different ads. These have, these have worked the best for us, so I want to show you those. Okay. So this is it. So you can see over here we've got a, a before and after picture. These are actually outlawed, right? So I, I don't know how they let me do this, but, but they did. And I just keep running. I'm just going to keep running this ad into the ground. But you don't really need a before and after picture. I think Amy's picture on the right here would work just fine. Uh, but as you can see here, we use the same text. We use Amy Proven's Isle Fitness. Potential audience of this ad is 1.18 million people. You always want that to be under 2 million. So you want to keep narrowing down your audience until you get that under 2 million. The, the lower number that is, chances are the cheaper the likes are going to be. The key to, the, the key to this is getting cheap likes. Cheap, targeted, effective likes. Okay. So the cheaper they are, the more you can get for your budget, right? So that's that's what you're looking for. So this one, ages women, female females ages 23 to 40, who have liked Jillian Michaels' personal trainer. Okay, so that's it. That's it. So if you are not a 23 to 40 year old female living in the United States or Canada, who have previously liked Jillian Michaels' page, you're never going to see this ad. So. That just narrows down our target. Our target is only going to be females who have previously shown interest in a fitness-related person, you know, a famous fitness celebrity, Jillian Michaels, living in the United States or Canada. Okay, so that's that's one ad that we run currently. Okay, this is another one that I started messing with about a couple of weeks ago, and has been pretty effective. I, I run that Jillian Michaels ad because I, I'm targeting women who need to get in shape, right? So Amy's always looking for challengers. 
so I figured that Jillian, we've, we've run different variations of that Jillian Michaels ad uh, or different targets of that Jillian Michaels ad for women like we, that we think are sort of, that we want to target to get into one of her challenges. This ad that I'm going to show you right now, I call Fitness 2, is, is, for, is targeted at women who have liked more advanced fitness stuff, you know, like Women's Fitness Magazine or Muscle and Fitness Magazine or Fitness Girls or Fitness Magazine. It's all like fitness related magazines. Because my thinking with that was that we, were, we would target women who have sort of progressed in their fitness and maybe might be open to beach body coaching, right? Like that they, they're into fitness, but maybe they want to make fitness their business. So that's an ad that we run currently. We've run all different ones. Like I had, generally speaking, all of these campaigns that you're going to see here are just different versions of the same Jillian Michaels ad that I showed you. We had run one that was targeted at people who had liked Zumba. Uh, or um, people, we, we, this one right here, we had run one. That, this one was pretty successful for us, that where uh, it was women who had liked uh, My Fitness Pal on Facebook. Okay, so it's women ages 25 to 40 who have liked My Fitness Pal. So that's pretty That's pretty much it. It's just simple. Look, it's only 480,000 people, but I was getting pretty good numbers with it. So what am I looking at when I'm judging one of Amy's ads? So like, what am I looking at? What do I, how do I know for being successful here? Good question. So here's what I do. Every day I log on to this page, this all ads page. And what I do is I change this from last seven to, I'm looking at both today and yesterday. Okay. So today, let's look at today. So today I'm running, like as you can see here, Jillian Michaels and Fitness 2. Today I've got 13 likes on the Jillian Michaels page. I've got 26 likes on the, um, the Fitness 2 category. Okay. And this is what I'm looking at. Cost per like. This is what you, the lower the better. Now this is pretty good. This is actually really good. I'm getting today. I'm getting 10 cents per like on the Jillian Michaels. I'm getting 11 cents per like on the Fitness too. That that's about as good as you're going to see with targeted likes in North America. I usually don't get that good. My goal is usually about 20 to 25 cents per like. Now some can get it cheaper. I'm just not an expert at this. I just wanted to sort of keep it as you know. I didn't want to set myself up for failure. Generally speaking, though, as this number goes up, I'll start getting rid of some of these ads. Like I'll just like start looking for other things. Like for example, I really wanted that Lulu Mom thing to work. It just didn't work. I was getting like sixty cents per like, and that's just for me is just not cost effective if you think about it. So that means I'm I'm paying ten, six dollars for ten likes. I don't want that. I, you know, where with this Jillian Michaels ad, I'm getting sixty likes for six dollars, whatever. I, I just used the random number there, six dollars, but whatever. So you can see, you know, the cheaper the likes, the more likes you're going to get for your budget. So it's really important to stay on top of this stuff to make sure that you understand, you know, and, and tweak your ads. And it's going to take some messing around. It's going to take like I, nobody's going to, you know, tell you this is gonna, X, X is going to work and Y isn't going to work. It's not really how it works. It's just you have to pay attention to what your ads are doing and how they're pulling and post different things on on. In our, within our group, and we'll, we'll help you try to see if we can get you pointed in the right direction. So, the other thing we're looking at here is click-through ratio. These click-through ratios are pretty high. I mean, they're anything over one percent is generally pretty good. Four and five percent is pretty extraordinary. Let me just ch let me change it to the last twenty-eight days, so you can see what they've done over the last month or so. As you can see here, Jillian Michaels and Fitness 2 have averaged 21 cents, 22 cents alike. I'm comfortable with that over the last uh, over the last month or so. Their click-through rate has been about 3.8 and 4.2 percent, respectively. I've gotten a total, as you can see here, a total of I don't know, maybe uh, just over a thousand, maybe a thousand fifty likes between the two of these ads. Now you can scroll down here. See, I was running this My Fitness Pal ad. And that was getting me 29 cent likes. I'm probably going to start running that again. It just started slowing down for me at the end, so I so I took it off. Um, let me see some other ones. Let me show you some failures. Right here. Here's a good example. This Weight Watchers ad. I was this this one. I was targeting women who had liked Weight Watchers, right? 
And as you can see here, it's women 25 to 40 female who had previously liked the Weight Watchers fan page. 1.1 1 .1, uh, million in the target. It was working fantastically for me. I think I probably got two or 3,000 likes off it when I first started. It just kind of seemed to slow down, though, for some reason. I don't know. I'm, I'm probably just going to try to run it again at some point. But 56 uh, cents a like is just too much for me. I just don't want to spend that much. So I stopped running it. Now, like, I'm probably going to start running it again at some point, but I just want to give you an example as to what you're, you know, if your likes start getting up in that 40, 50, 60 cent range, you're probably not getting a good, um, a good return on your investment. Same here, same thing here. I ran this Panera ad for only a couple of days and it just bombed. Look at, I, I targeted, I, I was thinking, you know, whenever I'm in Panera, I look around there. I, I don't know if you, I think Panera is, uh, you know, nationwide but if you don't know Panera is like a is like a fancy bread place you know they've got all kinds of you know I always say it's like cougar town you know it's like all it's all, it's all kinds of middle-aged women hanging out there and they just love it they just they you know Amy loves it you know all of her friends love it whenever they get together to meet and go somewhere or do something usually they're gonna meet at some place like Panera so I was thinking well maybe I'll just target that because that's those are those are uh, you know that's our target market so I tried it. It just didn't work. Look, I only got three likes. They were costing me a dollar thirty per like. I blew through my budget quickly. Even though our click-through percentage was high, the the likes per uh, the amount of the amount that I was paying per page like was just way too high. It just wasn't working. So I just you know that's fine. You just chalk that up to experience, and we're not going to do that. Generally, when I've tried to do different things other than um, other than um, uh, fitness related targets, it hasn't worked for me. It might work for you, but I've tried different things. I think I tried, uh, what was that? I tried Ann Taylor Loft. My, my sister was telling me that, you know, a lot of women, I, I had no idea, but a lot of women, Amy, who are in Amy's age category, like this store, Ann Taylor Loft. So I went and tried it, it didn't work. It didn't work at all. I was getting likes that were costing me over a dollar a piece. So I just keep going back to what works. Jillian Michaels has worked for me and fitness too has worked for me. Now, I would also say don't everyone jump on the same target because it's going. all that is going to do is increase the amount that we're all paying for the likes. For example, if you all jump on this Jillian Michaels target, we're pr it's probably just going to drive the cost of the likes up and it's just not going to work for anyone. Don't just copy our target. What I would encourage you to say do is – Think about other things, like there's a billion different people you could target that would probably give you a similar or better result. Think about other fitness trainers. Think about other fitness-related items that someone in your target market would like on Facebook, right? So that's just sort of a little video on how to target, on how to use this ads manager. Now we're going to create a video on how to actually make the ads.